Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we'll be doing a perspective pose. So we're going to show a person from the feet passive. So we're going to just place a disc like a surface here. So something for this guy to stand on. And what we're showing him is feet are here and the head will be somewhere there. So the challenge is to make it all go and meet at a certain point because that is what perspective is and if you keep going like this it will give you an idea that okay this is all going in that direction it's growing smaller if it's more curved then the curves will be bigger accordingly so now that you you could put up you could put a mesh like this and put it as wide if you, as you want and it'll still work no matter how wide this is it will all blend in together so what we're doing is we're going to give him two feet here and as you see that I've drawn them nice and big what you have to take care of is that there's that line that you have to maintain that you cannot have a foot going like this and the other uh, completely like offset from this so they have to have a certain semblance of being like flat standing flat and from there on we go one two and one and two so those are the legs the knees will be somewhere around here that's the lower part of the body right there we keep going upward in that same direction middle part of the body the chest somewhere around there so upper upper chest shoulders which will not be as visible or they may not be visible at all and of course we end in the head right up there and the head again right along those lines so you will probably put in a chin like this depending on how much you want to show and of course from that point on we will also the shoulders and we will do the arms and we make them bigger as we come down and there's the other hand so let's try this out so first of all I'm going to make him just like you know wear uh, shoes so I'm going inward like that with that shoe and inside the inner here and curve here so so left and right foot heel and then I put in so you could actually work this with coils as well like one two three one two three and you can go along so right here for example if you come down There's the knee, somewhere right there. And there is the groin area. You could show details, but really it, it's not essential at this point and in this particular exercise so because some of the details will just get like eaten up when you're foreshortening things to this degree and there's the outer part of that leg and we keep going up so now if you see that we have the impression of looking at this guy from this angle looking upward at him and then I will just get the arms out of the way and put a nice huge fist you know for convenience sake let's put in a fist it's also a little more uh, let's say uh, traditional in this kind of pose not necessarily but if you are doing 
it for sake of maybe action the fist really works rather than an open hand so same exercise here so if you see here if you can just do coils again so coil 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 so we will put in so this fist of course now you can go so many ways but I have done this so there's the thumb there's the index finger the middle finger and that's it and then some of it hidden behind the body there and forearm and going smaller and the shoulder so it's beginning to come together as you see you could make this wider you could make this wider it's all up to you so there's the chest right there collarbone and then we just go neck if we want to show it and eventually the head so there we we are actually done pretty much so eyes nose mouth chin ear again depending on what you want to do with this guy so let's say that we have uh, a light source coming like right down so of course this will be all set in shade all set in shade and anywhere where there is a key part of the body that is away from away from the light you will have to put in a shadow around it in this case we are going kind of like that so I'm just imagining the light source right from above and there's the groin area and depending on what you're going to give this guy to wear the shading will of course differ but just on a generic human being's sculpt I think like this much will actually work for you the cross hatch that we're just putting in so right under there it'll be more dense depending on how developed his pecs are it'll be dense or it'll be slight under there definitely more dense right under the uh, chin and around areas maybe under the eyes and again depending on how much his head is tilted up toward the light and the angles might change so some of the shadows falling here along the arm the bottom of the hand here the fisted hand in shade as well the knuckles and somewhat right under there under the bicep and depending on again the muscularity or how thin this guy is or how developed or how fat he is it will all vary if he has quads you will put in some shading for the quads and I've given him some slacks here just for the sick of it so if I go about just blending it a bit you'll see that it will kind of work out nicely so there we have it a perspective pose from looking looking from the bottom to the top of the head and done at that particular angle so thank you very much for watching please do let us have your comments do subscribe keep in touch have yourself a wonderful day